So just a quick uh, recap and kind of short tutorial here of what we did um, on this gas furnace. And our, our purpose was is that we want to make it so we could independently power this up in the event of an emergency that our uh, incoming power to the house was off uh, due to a storm, um, anything like that, that we would have to rely on a generator for temporary heat. Uh, this application is great because you could run the generator just a couple times uh, when you need to heat up the house and uh, you know charge batteries you know run a hot plate you know various items some lights you know just a limited amount of things and the nice part of the natural gas is that it, it really doesn't draw a whole lot of power and um, so it's really the way to go. So as you can see here, what we've done is our incoming power, um, which used to come right into the furnace here, I rerouted it in this, uh, this box, this outlet box. We did a single outlet, uh, which is required by NEC code. I'm gonna to try to find it in the code book where it shows that so I can uh, reference for you guys. But basically it states that on a single, gas fired appliance these have its own dedicated circuit um, so that's why we do the single outlet rather than two because in theory somebody else could plug something in here like a sump pump or something uh, for instance you know a separate pump not like that and overload the circuit so that's what we got and I'm just gonna pop this open real quick and just show you nothing here we still haven't done the cleaning so I'm just gonna bring it on in here and so I, I kind of not shown on the other part kind of what I did but that's basically what we got and it just uh, comes through there and then our pigtail you know I just left the excess here I could have cut it shorter uh, but I didn't you can cut it shorter if you want. We have our neutral, our hot, and our ground. It's kind of grounded in the corner there. That's it. I mean, it's, it's really simple. And so in the event of emergency, we would uh, just unplug this, run that to our extension cord, and then uh, when mainline power comes back on, and just plug it back in. All good to go. And that's it. And what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to fire this up and just uh, show you guys the actual amp draw on this thing. I mean, it's pretty minimal. So let me do that now. Thank okay. So got you all zoomed in on the uh, meter here. And it's set to max. And it's going to take a little bit to fire this up, but. What I'm going to do is jump from R, which is the red terminal, to white, which is our heat start. And there she goes. So, right now it's at 1.2 amps, and that's for the uh, inducer motor. I'm going to zoom out here. So that's the inducer motor up top here. That's the very first thing that will come on when you have a call for heat on a gas furnace. Nine times out of ten. And that's just verifying and lighting up near our gas. And we're still at uh, 1.2. So it didn't really draw any more for the uh, For igniting everything and so once this heats up it's going to turn on the uh, indoor blower motor and there it fires up it's firing up we are at 6.1 amps that's the inrush 
current at the maximum this thing will ever pull. Maybe, you know, 6'2", 6'3", possibly 6'5", but that's, that's it. So that's, that's not really much. So that's what I was saying before with running a 13 amp cord, you're probably fine, but I just, I bought the 14 gauge 15 amp just because. That's it for that, and so let's see what the uh, non ingress amps is. So basically, what it's running at. I zoomed in on this. So we're at 331. So, so the inrush current when that motor is starting almost double. That's pretty common. Usually, you, you, it's at least 75% of your run load amps, so it, it's a little bit over. This this thing's getting a little haggard. We got to replace this furnace out with a newer, high efficiency one, and you guys will get to see that if you uh, you know watch all the videos. But uh, kind of zoom in on where I jumped here. So I jumped it out. I'm just gonna pull that off. These ones are great. These are uh, magnetic jumper wires. They're pretty handy, but they're a lot easier to short out, I can tell you that. Um, but now it's just running just the fan. 2.3 amps. So gas is off, the combustion motor is off, and now it's just cooling down to get all the extra heat out it can, so it's not wasting anything. So that's all my motor runs at, is 2.3 amps. Pretty low. And with that, you can run that on a pretty small generator. Thanks for watching.